Hey everybody, it's Jordan from Dirty Diesel Customs here. We're going to do a quick video on how to tune an L5P Duramax. Uh, 2017, these trucks changed to a different um, computer where we need to do a full ECM swap in order to tune them. You just can't get through the GM uh, security to get them flashed. So we'll do an ECM swap from HP Tuners. <coughs> and here's a quick video on uh, how we do that process. First things first, you want to get your MPVI2 that you're going to get when you purchase tuning. We'll plug it in. We're going to download the latest software from HP. We always want to be on the latest and greatest. That way, uh, when you're working with your tuner, everything's on the same platform. We always run this beta software right here. Um, this is going to be the latest that they've come out with. What's, it's usually what all the tuners are going to be running on. So that's just what we're going to use. Okay, so we're just going to walk through, same as installing any other program. Go through, put it on your computer. And then once this is done, we'll walk through the ECM replace function inside HP Tuners. Okay, now once this is done downloading, we're going to open up the VCM scanner. Okay, so what we got to do next is we'll hook our MPVI2 into the OBD2 connection on the truck. And turn our key on. So once we're hooked up here, we're going to connect to the vehicle. Where's my mouse? Go under vehicle connect. We're hooked up, yes. Okay, so once we're connected to the vehicle, we still have the original ECM in this truck. We're going to do a replace ECM function here. So under vehicle, we're going to go to controls and special functions. And under system, there is a replace ECM. So we're going to click on that. Make sure the ignition is running, engine off. Stock ECM is in the vehicle, yes. It's going to read the info. Okay, data read successfully. Now we're going to swap the ECM. We're going to go under the hood. We're going to turn the key off. And we'll swap the ECM, and then we'll come back to this. Ever so polite. Okay, looks just like the new one. It's not as shiny. Thanks, Code. Oh, yeah. One thing you got to make sure is when you're taking these out, make sure not to break any of these. If HP gets any of these and these are broken, they will not modify it. So, Okay, we've got our new ECM swapped into the truck, hooked our batteries back up. I don't think you have to unhook the batteries, but we do as a safety. And we're going to disconnect from the vehicle. Um, okay, it already has, but... If you don't close everything, you can disconnect from the vehicle and then we'll reconnect to the vehicle. Because otherwise it's gonna be just connected to the old ECM still and think that it's still in that file, so. And we're just gonna go into this replace ECM function again. Go back to our controls and special functions, system, replace ECM, key is on. Is the stock ECM installed in the vehicle? No. Have you installed the new ECM? Yes. Enter the VIN for the vehicle. ECM replacement complete. Okay, so now we've done the ECM swap. It's taken all the data off the old ECM, swapped it into the new one. Now we're gonna take our stock read um, to send to our tuner so that he can modify it and ship it back to us. So we don't use VCM scanner for any of the reading and writing. We're going to get out of here. This is only for the, um, the swap. Once we're out of here, we're going to go into the editor. So VCM editor beta. So when we just downloaded. Okay. So the same kind of idea right here, it's going to show us to write vehicle. Hang on. We got to It'll always open up the last file you worked in, so you can just close the file so you don't, you're not in any tune or anything, and then you'll this uh, read vehicle will appear here. 
So we're gonna click on that, gather the info from the vehicle. We're just gonna do the ECM here, but it shows both. So what we're gonna do on the TCM section is just put do not read, Oops. and we're just gonna read entire on the ECM. We're just gonna hit read. Okay, so here's where it's gonna save. Just let us save. Um, we always save our tune files by the last six of the VIN. Okay, now we've saved our, saved our read. We're gonna send it over to our tuner. He's gonna modify it, then we'll come back, we'll load it in, and we'll keep going. Okay, so we've sent our stock read out to get modified. We've got our file back from the tuner. We've taken our file off the email, saved it on the computer. So first thing we gotta do, we've also ordered credits, because for these trucks, you're gonna need eight credits to tune the ECM and four credits to tune the TCM. We're gonna do the TCM after. Um, so we need to put the credits onto the MPVI2, will be the first step. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our VCM editor again. Um, right now I don't have it plugged into the truck. Sometimes they will, sometimes they'll glitch if they're plugged into the truck and the computer at the same time when you're trying to add credits. So as a rule of thumb, I just always unplug it from the truck and that way it's not getting power from the truck, it's just solely under the computer. Um, so we're gonna go to the help and go resync interface. This is where it's gonna to connect to the HP server see if you've purchased any credits. So we've got our eight credits they've added to the device. So now when we go to tune it, it's gonna ask if we wanna use these credits, but we'll get there in a sec. Okay, so we'll close this. We'll connect it back to the truck. So we'll turn our key on. We're gonna open that file. We'll close the file that we're in right now. We'll open up our tune file. And now we're gonna to go to right vehicle. <clears throat> it's gonna pull up the ECM. It's gonna to default to write calibration. We're gonna go write entire because we wanna write the entire ECM, not just the calibration inside it. Hit write. It's gonna ask us if we wanna license this device and this VIN number. So right here, we're gonna hit specific. This is gonna be the serial number of that new ECM. We'll hit okay. Are you sure? Yes. And here we go, it's gonna flash the computer. Okay, and we are right completed. I'm gonna hit close here, we'll turn our key off. And now it's flashed, it's ready to start. Next step's gonna be, well, we're gonna do the TCM quick, then we're gonna walk through a crank relearn, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, we're gonna do the TCM now, which is basically gonna go the exact same way as the ECM did. We're gonna open up our scanner Turn the key on. We're gonna to connect to the vehicle. Okay, once we're connected, let's we'll take a second here too because once in a while these new ECMs do not want to change the VIN. So it should automatically program the VIN <coughs> into the new ECM when you do the replace function, but sometimes it doesn't work. So what you can do is go into the controls and special functions and go into the system again, right where we did replace ECM, you can also change the VIN. If it doesn't want to take, if it keeps failing, we'll get out of here, we'll go to vehicle, and we're gonna to go to diagnostics, and we're gonna clear DTCs, even if there isn't any, we're gonna clear DTCs and then try the VIN again, and usually that will be what it needs to swap the VIN. So. We didn't run into that on this truck, but I just we have in the past, so it's just a little trick to make sure you can swap that VIN. Is there a warning you see? Or? Yeah, it's gonna pop up when you go to flash it, and it'll be like, this VIN doesn't match the VIN in the tune. Uh, it it's usually just ends up being like all Ys or all ones or something, and that's how you know it didn't take. Uh, so that's the trick for that. So replace TCM, gonna work just like the uh, ECM function, keys on, stock TCM is installed in the vehicle, now we're gonna read the data, completed. Okay, we're gonna turn the key off, and swap the TCM. Yeah, so these are super easy to get out. Uh, it's just gonna be two little tabs, pull them up. So that's out, new one's in. Okay, now we're gonna to have to do the same thing, turn the key on. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect from the vehicle and reconnect.
Go back to system, replace TCM, key is on. This is not the stock TCM, this is the new replacement TCM. And replacement complete. So that is all good to go. We can close out of the scanner. We're gonna go into the editor again and do a stock read on just the TCM, just like we did on the ECM. So we're going to close out this file, make sure you have no file name up here so that you're able to read. Read vehicle. If you just hit read here, it's going to read the ECM and TCM every time. So once you go into gather info, that'll allow you to select which module you want to read. So we're going to not read the ECM, just the TCM. Perfect. Okay, that stock read is done. Same as before, we're going to send that to the tuner, get it modified. We'll get it back, we'll flash it in. We've uh, taken the stock read, we've sent it out to the tuner, we've got the file back. Um, okay, we're gonna close the file out that's in the editor. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna find where we saved our file. And then we're gonna scroll up here to right vehicle, make sure our key's on. <coughs> uh, it says we do not have a license for this vehicle. We have four credits available. For this TCM, that's what it's going to take. So we're going to click on the specific, which is going to license this MPVI2 to this TCM as well, just like we did on the ECM. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, we're going to write entire and write. Okay, so our write's completed. Once this is done, we're going to turn our key off. We'll close it first. Turn our key off and really now we're ready to do a crank relearn. Um, we'll fire it up, it's gonna have a code for crank not learned with that new ECM. So we'll let it warm up to temp and then we'll perform a crank relearn. Okay, so everything's running. We've got it up to temp. These things need to be right up to 158 Fahrenheit before they'll even try and do a crank relearn. So yeah, once we're running, got the vehicle warmed up, we got to open up the scanner, reconnect to the truck, then we're going to go to controls and special functions and try the crank relearn. Should pop up right away. Uh, it wants you to gradually rev up till the fuel cutoff or the rev limiter and then release. And then you must cycle the ignition for the function to complete. There we go. Light went out, we're good. Okay, engine lights off. ECM programming is complete, TCM's complete. We've done the crank relearn, ready to drive.